the story. So I'm linking four stories here. So Prime Boy said the fans were there. They were like blocking the road. They didn't want him Prime to Boy. leave. Who's Prime Boy? Sorry, who's Prime Boy? Prime Boy is a friend, an old friend of uh, Mobad. Okay, thank you. Cool. He was detained as a suspect by the police. He was among the five um, kept at Clancy. So it was said that, um, so Prime Boy said when the, he, then Mobad, he got down to clear the road. Then Mobad on his own case. So I'm linking the story of the wife too. So they collected 100K. It wasn't enough. Prime Boy told the brother to go and get some cash. The guy could go back with some money, with some money, and um. Yeah, prime boy told Adura to get more cash. No, 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 Mo, 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 Mobad himself told his brother to go get some cash. Told, so, so Mobad told Adura. Yes, 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 yes. Because I'm trying to know the names now. I'm trying to okay, put good. names. Adura mm -hmm. is the, is the brother. Adura yes, is the yes, younger yes, brother yes, of Mobad. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, when yes. he go um along the way, um. Adura disrespected Prime Boy. What they said, I don't know. I was not there. But Prime Boy got back into the vehicle to complain about that. Then that caused a scuffle among the two. That is Mobad and Prime Boy. Mobad was agitated. He got down from the car. Umi was carrying Liam, their son. Umi was like, oh, not now, not now. She put Liam on the... Just a second. So now, um, Wumi actually went wherever she went with Liam. Liam, so yeah. yes, yes, they were in the car. Okay. They didn't get down from the car. So okay, yeah. thank you. So um, immediately she saw noticed that I uh, mean this is going to turn into a fight. She got down, put Liam back in the car, went to the Prado in front of them to like call people to come and settle the fight. Before she got back, according to Wumi. According to Umi, she said all this because she was squeezed for about three hours at the corona inquest. According to Umi, when she got back, they had already finished. But she noticed that the um, the side mirror of the Prado was broken and um, they were holding her, as in people had settled the issue for her, for Mobad, holding um, Mobad and telling um, Prime Boy to leave the car, just to leave the scene. But... Prime Boy was not even that agitated. He was just smiling, according to Wami. So when she got back into the car, now I'm bringing you what happened into the car. There was a fight. Not a fight, there was um, a disagreement between her and her husband. Why did you fight? It's been a while you've had a show. And you're now doing this, not even, not just the fight on the show, you're doing this in the front of Liam, five months old. Why did you fight? Do you think the show promoter is going to call you for another show? She was so, she was so wrong with all what happened that night. And this got back to the house. Like, why did you do this? Why did you do this? You're trying to rebrand yourself back. People, you, you were going for uh, show promoters will call you, but your other label brand is going to um, cancel the show. They're going to they're, they're going to say bad things about you. But now you're trying to rebrand yourself. You just got yourself in malinization. So why are you doing all this? All this was said at the Corona inquest. Now, so the police commissioner of police, the commissioner of police said at that point, he bled profusely. He used the word profusely there. That's when they go to the house, the driver of the Prado, the rented vehicle, even told him to go this to bled the hospital. Profusely, eh? this yeah, bled the profusely. What made uh, Mubad bleed? Why was he bleeding? What's he doing? Okay, according to the commissioner of police, it was said that um, he tried to, uh, he punched, there was a violent fight. I'm quoting the commissioner of police now. And um, at the point of the uh, him um, throwing a punch, it was dodged. So the elbow met the glass of the Prado and it broke. Those were the words of the commissioner of police. So, um, to me, the impacts of that 
could have caused a cut. Um, that is my own thought now. Now, the word profusely, I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know how much blood we're talking about here. I wasn't there. Now, they got back to the house. A friend of his, his dancer lifestyle, he said that, in fact, the next day he was going back to school, he saw Mobad, somebody attending to the wound. They were dressing it and he was just like, and Mobad was even joking with him. It was like, and he told Mobad, oh, she can you lost hospital. Take this thing to the hospital now. They were like, oh, he just, he's not going anywhere. And Mobad joked with him like, ah, look at how you are dressed. You are dressed like a schoolboy. So he was, he was like, it wasn't like Mobad was down or anything. They asked Adura, was your brother down? He said, no, he was lively, heel and headsy. They even asked him about the, the wound. He said, it's just like a scratch. And I, I begin to imagine why would he say just like his scratch and push it aside. I was now imagining there's a video of Mubad being bullied and battered that there were cords around his body. So him saying it was just like a scratch. I believe that statement. I think that statement has to do with Mubad had sustained more injuries than this. So it was not a biggie. The police commissioner said not only did the uh, driver of the Prado tell him to take it to the hospital. The wife, members of his family, and even his band, that is his own, his dancer actually told him to take this to the hospital, but he declined. He declined himself. On Monday, it was said that Mobad called um, his nurse, but the nurse was not available. Said she was now available. Then, um, spending a friend of his also. Sorry, quick one. Mobad called the nurse. Mobad. Mobad in quotes. Uh, Mobad. I don't know. Okay, okay. Let me just, let me, let me be very specific. I don't know who called the nurse. Okay. But it was said. Because if Mobad called the nurse, there will no, no, be a call record. There will be yeah, a call yeah, yeah. record that we no, can no, actually. But the thing is that present, somebody in the house. Okay. Or anybody, yeah, we can yeah, always, yeah. you know, yeah, just, get the court eight. order to let them release the, you know, recording yeah, or something to us. The recording. Okay. There were eight people in that house. Somebody placed a call to the nurse. Mobat's nurse himself. Somebody. So you don't know who that person is. There were eight persons in that house. So you don't know who that person is. Mm, I would be very open in that. I would be very be open. open in that. Yeah, be open. I was not there. Be open. Yeah. Good. I was not so there. So you don't know. So you, yeah, you don't know. Good. Yes. Good. Uh -huh. A All call right, was you. placed. A call was placed to the nurse, and um, she wasn't available. She said she was not available. Now, Prime Boy, Abel, spending a friend of Mobad, said he had his own nurse that he could call his own nurse to come around. So spending gave the number of the nurse. And the nurse, according to the police, had um, happens to be an auxiliary nurse. Now, an auxiliary nurse in Nigeria is even a nurse that is still in training. But it was even said that she was not even anywhere at that point. And the Commissioner of Police addressed her to be a quack nurse. The police commissioner used that word to address her. And he said, when she was called, she was not in Nigeria at that time. Same thing as uh, Gumi also said that statement. But she said she was coming the next day. She came around the next day, according to the police, around 2.30. When she came, she brought some medications, some injections, and it was said she administered three. So One was tetanus. She must. So, sorry, Dawa. Before she must have been able to come with some medication, she must have been told about what she's bringing. Yes. Okay. Sorry. You sorry. Get what I mean? Somebody must have. No, yeah. You get what I mean? Somebody must have briefed her about what. Uh, yeah, like she would have asked for details and things like that. Lord, yeah. uh -huh. hi, good morning. My name is uh, Abefe. 
Um, we're just gonna. I bet say good morning. Hi, good morning. Mm -hmm. Um, so yes, so before Dawa, sorry, let me just clarify that part. Before the nurse came and um, came with the injection, the nurse was briefed about what had happened to Mobad. The nurse asked for pictures of the wound to be sent to her. So a picture of the wound was sent to her and a video, a sh very short video was also made. That video was sent to the nurse and that was what the nurse used to form uh, a decision on what medication, what right medication it is she will be administering to Mobad um, based off of what, you know, we heard um, during the corona inquest. Yeah. So thank you, Abefe. So the corona inquest said this. Also, the commissioner of police. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Dawa. Sorry, yeah. sorry Dawa. Before you go too far, um, in those videos, are, mm -hmm. are any of them available to the public right now? Of yes, those yes, videos sorry. that were sent to the nurse, right? Yes, yes. 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 So now, in any of those videos, uh, was Mubad conscious in any of those videos? His face so, was not showing. His face so was not can... showing, but there was a movement. His face in was hand. not showing. No. So now, was... so how would somebody be able to verify that he is the person in that video then? If his he face has is a, not... He has a tattoo on the hand. On so the, the tattoo corresponds with what's true. Okay. Well, because I can say somebody else can actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand that. But so let's, has... let, let, let's, let's be, let's be, let, let's be logical. You get what I mean? Let's. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'm, I'm that guy who, you I'm know. Time that this is Mobad by that tattoo on his hand. When Mobad time got this. We were able to confirm that, okay, this is Mobad because we all know that Mobad has a tattoo and the tattoo on that hand fits the tattoo that we know that Mobad has. Without informing the mother and the father. Negligence. And this yeah. so that's how we were able to confirm and um, everyone who was at the house present um, when I say everyone I mean Adura um, spending and um, Wumi confirmed that a video was sent to the nurse and that's how she formed uh, opinion as to what the right medication to administer to him is thank you that way you can go ahead Lord Ash, thank you, thank you, Abefe. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. So, Lord Ash, um, according to the Commissioner of Police on the 6th of, during his press briefing, he said three injections were administered. One was tetanus toxoid. It was up, it was administered to the arm. And um, two other injections, that is um, um, paracetamol, was administered intravenous. And also cetrazone was administered intravenous. The dosages were not set, so I don't know about the exact dosages. It is left to the nurse to say that whenever she comes to the corona inquest or when the autopsy result comes out. So we don't know the dosage she used, uh, she, she, she administered. Now, the, the police commissioner also said there were other syringes and needles and bandages seen at the, at the scene. They talked about, um, uh, I think you have to make research on that. I've forgotten the names, but there was, uh, there was also a dosage of... Sorry, yeah. I yeah. thought they said the, the crime scene wasn't, you know, um, there was no crime scene. Like, the police didn't create a crime scene. Like, they had no crime scene. So where was the syringe found then? If um, the, okay, know, let me. Some other let, people I are saying. I police, won't speak on behalf know, of the police. Hold yeah. on, please. I won't speak on the behalf of the police. Because because I, I heard Breaker they ask that question as well. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. PPR, Let's, PPRO, the PPRO said, oh, it was Lagos Command, oh, that you did need to ask Lagos Command. He, he, mm. he pushed the question straight up to Lagos Command and he ended it there. It was a close. Okay, bro topic. brother, let me yeah. ask, let me, let me ask you a question. If you didn't report a crime, but it was due to, um, you didn't report a crime happened, but it was due to protests and people visiting the police station, uh, the commissioner of police that warranted the police to start an investigation. Don't you think, or oh, let me, let me just continue. Let me, let me, don't let me throw it like that. Let me just continue. So you deduce yourself if actually the house is a crime scene or not. Is that okay, Lord, Lord Ash? 
Um, you see, there's one thing that you know a lot of people. You see, there's something people want me to ask. But before I ask it, I want to understand something. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people are letting me understand that Baba Mubad was not there when Mubad died. Who yeah. Was he was. Listen, was there when he died? Yeah. Why did Mubad die? Because uh, he was. Yeah, that's, that's what you see. That's what I want you before you tell me that. That's what I want you to first tell me 12 hours before you get to that. Yeah, I'm already 12 I'm hours already, before you get to know, that. So now I'm already so on you're already now. there. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost yeah, there. sure. Yeah, I'm already on there. Tuesday now. Mm -hmm. I'm already on Tuesday. I'm already in the last one hour. Now by 2 30, the nurse got there. According to the police commissioner, he said the administration of the drug started 2 30. It was said at the corona inquest, what did Mubad eat? That day was the fifth month's birthday of the son, Liam. Wumi said, Adura cooked Indomie for three people to eat. Adura, she and her husband, Mubad. It was said that Mubad told her to prepare fried rice for, for the birthday stuff. So when the nurse came, she was still cooking. But she took the nurse to meet Mo. Well, can I interject just for a minute? Lord okay. Ash, uh, when we talked about the... I'm just taking you guys back a bit. Sorry like, sorry that I have to do that occasionally. So when we talked about um, the medication that was administered and um, the other syringes that the Nigerian police saw, I just want to play that for you so you can like hear it directly from the Nigerian police. So we're not just... Um, you don't think we're just, um, just speculating. It's a very short video, so I won't make it too long. I'll try and enlarge my screen if I can. Um, yeah, I don't know how to... Okay, found that. Okay, uh, I'll just play that real quick. So, 
um in this same video lord ash this is the same video where um the nigerian police mentioned that on arrival at the house they did a thorough search and they also found a few needles and syringes in the same spots in the same bedroom or the same place where mobad was treated by nurse Shara. i will also find you because it's a really long clip um i'll find that clip and as soon as i find it i will interject and play that for you again okay now i continue this is what the police has said yes. and what the police has said is what we should actually follow exactly yeah. and you can see that me even telling you according to the police i mentioned the injections and this was the video i was quoting from this video is 34 minutes 10 seconds long and anything i just say on social media is a quotation from this video or from what happened at the corona inquest we don't take narratives oh, here. Uh, we you don't... know what you know you know we can actually just end all this all this misunderstanding all this run around and everything if we can just ask because now there's a death certificate right because in this video the police said kuramed later you see they didn't Thank say kuramed issued they said kuramed later so we issued say with death certificates right so now all we need Kurame to tell us is the cause of death. Kurame must have. Lord Ash. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that I have said this about three or four times that people should please send whatever I say to Kurame that please, who did you issue it to? What is the yes. name of the doctor on the. If death the police is saying that Kurame issued a death certificate, there must it. have been a cause of death. At There's what no time? Way anybody, what is no the way primary cause of death? Death, death certificate without a cause of death. So, Thank can you. I quickly interject, you guys? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Dawa. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning Lord Ash. I be fair. Good morning. I don't know if you're still here. Now, um, when we're talking about the cause of death, because there is an ongoing issue with the autopsy, the actual cause of death is yet to be determined so um from a little bit of research that i did when the uh, when there is no actual cause of death the uh, space is left blank pending investigation but from my own school of thought i would have assumed so yeah so yeah please don't say that don't say that don't no, say that it's going to sound it's going to sound a bit you know let's 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 be honest with ourselves why would they leave the cause of the blank no, in lord, it? lord it's, ash it's, what i believe in lord, lord, lord ash based on oh, hold on a sec oh, hold on based off of my own personal experience when you take a body to the hospital in nigeria and the person is dead and they certify that person dead if the person died before you got to the hospital now what they write in the course of deaths will be brought in dead which is bid they will only indicate that this person was at the time of the arrival of this body this person was already dead now that means that the hospital cannot give you the uh, cause of death, the cause of death. But the That's hospital can say doing. that at so so time this body was brought here and we confirmed that this body is dead. Is now if, are you but, talking about the Nigerian hospital? Yes. Yes, I think I understand what you're saying now because what they would do is this they would because they don't know the cause of death, they will leave it blank in Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria would yes, always work. Yes, yes in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly what yes. I, I I I I would research what you're saying. Then I will just leave it open, like you know. Yeah. I would ask because you yeah. cannot write cause of death. You may yeah, have because they will not be able to give a cause of death if they don't know if they brought the person. Exactly. Sorry, 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 people. Sorry, yes. people. Where I'm going to a different opinion is this: the police commissioner said it was later. Please let us understand the word "later" used here. Was it immediately issued? No. So Kuramed Hospital should help us understand who it was given to. And because, when it was issued. And when it was issued, because it is a controversial um, statement. Very controversial. Because this was the same statement I bracketed. I said that it was given to the wife. 
So Kuramed has to explain who it was given to, when it was issued, at what time was it issued. So um, that's why I said, um, we now saying that, oh, they would have written, brought in there, they would have done this. But who was it given to is the issue here. Who was it given to? We don't know. And I'm not going to support anybody on that, whether it was given to the wife, whether it was given to the brother, whether it was given to the father, whether it was even given to the state, we don't know. So Kuramet should explain that part of the police investigation. So according to the police, you could notice that he said when the Cetra zone was injected into him, um, I would wish Lord Ash to please just go online and check for the side effects of cetrazone. He should also check for how long should you inject cetrazone into the body. Should it be intramuscular or intravenous? Sorry, let me quickly explain. Senna Bossede, please ma'am, do not misinform the public. Do not bring whatever you've heard from other platforms to our platform. So when you say it was later issued as asthma attack and given later, that's a misinformation and that's a lie. So please, if you do not know, do not write it here. You can either stay here and listen quietly. Please do not drop a comment that you cannot prove or that is not in the public space, please. Thank you, ma. Okay, uh, Lord Ash, this is how we don't take narratives here. Anything that the police does not say, Anything that was not said in the Corona inquest is rubbish in our eyes. You can see we're correcting someone now that if someone is saying asthma attack and giving later, why would you, like on that day, Easter Block Ninja, a famous blogger in Nigeria, said it was an air infection. So we wouldn't take any narrative except if the police said so. That is what Temi's platform is all about. If you, it is not said at the corona inquest, if it's not said by the police, we would not believe you. Now, let's, we've talked about, the police has actually highlighted what happened. Immediately this was done. Immediately the injections were pushed into his vein, uh, into his veins. He reacted. He vomited. He had goosebumps. The nurse rushed out to a pharmacy to get something. She was called as he was already convulsing. They asked Wumi, water, why was water poured on him? She said she, he requested for it at the corona inquest. Later on, he was taken to the hospital by a neighbor. They asked her, why not Mubat? They asked her about how they were moving. She said when they got downstairs, a mechanic was walking on the car and um, they asked if the car is um, drivable. He said no. They went to neighbors' houses to start banging. The bag was taken to the hospital by a neighbor. Yes, she, she said they started banging gates of neighbors. Then engineer Chinaka opted to bring his car to help out. And the engineer Chinaka is there to testify to this. Excuse me. According to the police, they rounded up, um, not rounded up, they interrogated 26 witnesses. The engineer, the neighbor, was part of them. Okay. He listed 26 people that were interrogated in that press briefing. Abefe will do the honors by sending it to you, maybe via DM the link to that if you don't even want no, the link no, I, don't, I don't need you see what, what what i'm going to do you see where i'm going to in all distance let me be honest with you i'm going to you see you guys have access to me right i'm not sure i will be able to have access to me but i'll be able to have access to other people too i promise you that like this nurse or something i will try my best to have access to them i will hear from them myself too so I'm just hearing from you guys now so I can know, you know, questions to ask. So go um, ahead. Uh -huh. the, the issue here is this. You don't have to have access to people to know the truth. Why won't I? I need to hear from the horse's mouth. The police visits the corona inquest. You're going to hear from all the witnesses. 
Yeah. And we will even yeah. reach will do that. more witnesses and are able to understand. I will, 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 will do all that. Are, Honestly, I have loads of videos. I'll tell you something. I have loads of videos I want to watch. Yeah, Lord Ash, we are honestly personally i'll be very happy if you go and hear every one side of the story if you uh, can have access yes, to that's, that's all the of the witnesses way. that's the best way that's actually the best way to be and to, to yes, gain uh, to be informed this. yes and then whatever you hear from them this. if there's anything that is contradictory um contradictory to what we said here mm -hmm. we're happy for you to come back and say oh, oh you guys yeah. said this but then i heard this like just do all your findings. No, 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 no. no. You see, whatever I mean, you see, I'll tell you one truth. Let me tell you guys one truth. Whatever I'm listening to here is not actually to come and use it to um judge you or do anything. No, oh, it's course. looking for justice for mobile. We, we need we also it's justice need for mobile. Know. It's not it's not we, we, you see, we shouldn't be against each other. We should be on this right on the same course. We should be fighting for the same thing. We want justice for Mobad because this justice for Mobad, to me personally, why I'm involved in this thing is because this justice for Mobad is distracting Nigerians from so many other things. Nobody's talking about that. Right. You get what I mean? So that's why I want justice for Mobad to be done real quick. So that we can move on to other things so that are important else. as well. Very because correct. But it's very important as well because it will open doors to we <laughs> making people accountable. Mm -hmm. You see, all these things that we're talking about, say, oh, this one person did this, all this person we will talk about, they will be accountable. This mm -hmm. is our chance to make them be accountable. But it's like God gave us this chance, like, yes, use this chance. We, we're going to use it. All this police, so oh, all this, this, so oh, you see the PPRO that said, Oh, Lagos command is supposed to be asked. Wait, wait, how can you be a police PPRO for the old police in Nigeria and you are telling us to go to Lagos? Why are you a PPRO then? Come on, you guys should open your senses, okay? Why would he say that? I didn't want to say that, you know, on a video or something, but I'm saying that here now. Mui, why shouldn't have said that? That no people should go and ask Lagos or this oh, is Lagos. You are the PPRO for the whole police in the whole Nigeria. You should be able to tell what Lagos knows, what everybody knows in the whole Nigeria. That is your job. So all those kind of things, we will still visit it. But before we get to that part, let's move gradually. Okay, and we should all be uniformed. We should all okay. we should all we should all have one voice. Lord Ash. If Lord not, Ash. Mm -hmm. Ash. Whoever, whoever, whoever oh, yeah. doesn't want this. Wait, 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 sorry. Give me two seconds. Whoever doesn't want this justice to be found would always want us divided. And as long as we're divided, we would never find justice because we would always be doing all these fights and everything. So go ahead, sir. That's it. Uh, um, Lord Ash, I'm not trying to support um, Ogamuriwa in his statements, but I want to reason along with him. The jurisdiction, the, the police jurisdiction that covers the case is Lagos State Command. Um, and um, if you watch, Bereket say, I don't know. Sorry, Dawa, Dawa, please, please, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is, is Muiwa? Before you go too further, who is Muiwa? Lord Ash, please let me learn first. Muiwa? Let me learn first. Uh -huh. Lord Ash, please hold on. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Where, why I'm saying this is this. I don't know. They might have had a prior conversation or he might have been put on the spot at that point to give details concerning what happened to Mubad. If he was put on the spot, you don't expect him to give you details. And number two, there are certain things police will not say in public concerning an investigation. Whether forensics have been done, the level of the forensics yeah, that you was, that was, that was, you was, that was, sorry we don't seconds, have to, seconds. you'll be surprised what yeah. i'm about to say yeah you I know can. what sometimes sometimes in life you have to always push to get what you want i pushed mm -hmm. you to get to the point where you got to just now what you have just said is what i was waiting for you to say we did well you can't undermine the police investigation i was pushing you to say what you have just said and you said it and that's it everything i've said before then was for me to get you to this point where you said the police knows what they are doing so the police knows exactly the information they're giving out because they can't give too much thank you very much for what you've just said 
do you understand what i've just done now do you understand yes, yeah sure uh-huh so you've done well you've done well with what you just said yeah because what we were did was to make sure that it gives the public what they need to hear and at the same time not undermining the police investigation do you understand yes, sir. yeah sure thank you so don't thank think you. i was fighting you earlier i wasn't fighting no 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 no, no, no. i had I to move to... you i had to channel you in a point where you know to the point where i needed you to give me what i needed and you gave it to me if you hadn't given it to me i would have still not said anything and i would have just held it to myself and be like okay yeah well you just failed in that one but you passed thank you <laughs> sorry yeah. Um, in addition to what I just said, you would notice that um, the police, uh, the CSP said something. He said, all what you're hearing on social media are speculations and rumors. Nobody can categorically say this is what killed Mobad. He said a statement. And that is for you to know that even the police are on social media. They are listening to all these things, but they are not distracted. So um, moving ahead, you said 12 hours i have concluded 12 hours now what happened he was confirmed dead from two hospitals i was not there i don't know who authorized darusha i don't know who called him but according to his instagram handle he said when his dad died that he noticed the local embalming of them placing salt not rubbing salt to he said they placed salt on a bowl on his father's chest and he repeated the same thing to Mumbad. He went on and on. It was an eight-page um, Instagram post. I don't have to read that now, but if you want it, I can send it to you. He was explaining and because people were accusing him that why was Mumbad's neck broken? Uh, um, Dawa, let's now go back to, let's, you know, because this is almost uh here in the uk is 5 49 so i need to catch some sleep so you know before i go let me just quickly so now um kuramed hospital um uh, mobad was taken to kuramed right yes, and he was confirmed that and kuramed released the body back to them again right then yes. they took the body again to another according hospital to right police. according to the police yes 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 and um they took the body to another police uh, another hospital again as well and the the, the, the 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 hospital confirmed him dead again and the hospital released the body again so is that how easy it is to just be releasing bodies up and down in nigeria now those are the things we need to those are the justice we need to be seek, we need to be searching for that they need to start doing things right in nigeria how can you take a body to the hospital the body immediately the hospital should have called the police it is the hospital that should have called the police that they brought a dead body there you'll be surprised this that. Is you see sherry if we want to do things right we have to do it right to get a right result if we're doing it wrong we Kuramet should be held responsible for this from the first instance for even letting the body leave the hospital leave back in the premises yeah but you'll be surprised so you understand what i'm saying a lot of this so you know, in the uk wait, wait, my brother wait in the uk will that ever happen I'm will that female. ever happen you've made a very vital point and it's something i think we need to be checking the, the body would have been released to the family i have a video i want to play for you but i want to correct that the body would be released to the to whoever brought the body because that person was because not they, they should be, no no they shouldn't release no no i'm not i'm not doubt i'm not fighting you i'm not yeah no no i hear that say, no no sir you should you should not have to say nigeria you nigeria you know what what's up Okay, let me play you this video real quick. Show your Cory Bear. Show your Cory Bear. Oh, yeah, about a like, video. The time on lock party, sorry. The power bearer. CMD Kuramet. Kuramet Hospital. And the CMD Perez Hospital, where the lead singer was taken to as a brought in there. Check, but where the late singer was brought in as brought in dead. Detectives have also visited the residence of the deceased at Lady, 
The intention was to review the CCTV footage in the house. Unfortunately, the CCTV was out of order. It's not a functional even before this incident. However, the visits led to the recovery of remnants of drugs and injections and other test kits administered by the auxiliary nurse, including one tetanus toxic injection, three used syringes, two used syringes filled with suspected medicine content, one packet of cetrazone solution, propane benzene injection, empty broken pack of diclofenac, diclofenac injection, Parasamol diluted with water, water for injection, six hand gloves, one bandage, one plaster, and one iodine solution. Also separately recovered is the mobile phone of the disease. Thank you. So I just wanted to just play that just before we let you go that um, the police okay, went uh, and they saw the symptoms. Yeah, Lord Ash made a very, very good point, and I believe um, the Nigerian Medical Association should also um, look into this, that in situations people are brought in dead, can the hospital quickly inform the police, detain whoever brought him dead, and call the necessary um, police, the nearest police station to, if they are taking the person to another place, at least the policemen should follow them and also investigate um, what, there could be stab wounds, there could be anything around the body, so they need to do this. So I, I Lord Ash asked a very good question and I believe this question should go to the Nigerian Medical Association, so for them to get new policies concerning this. So Lord Ash, any other question please? Konibaja, good morning. Well, um, um, I need to actually go oh, 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 I'm sorry. Um, but uh, no, that, let me sharply buttress what um Dara class just said. Actually, um the Nigerian government has already passed the law out that um whenever they brought in either an injured um, person or someone that is dead or whatever, the first priority of any hospital in Nigeria should be to give full medical attention if the person is still alive or if the person is injured or whatsoever, give full medical attention to the person. But in the situation whereby the person is, was brought in dead, once they examine the person at all and they are in the position to declare the person dead, that is when the police report or any other option should come in. So they will write um, report and all those things, etc., etc., cause of death, etc., etc. They give to the family or whoever brought the person in to so now take it to the police station. That is, in most cases, whereby um, a foul play is suspected. But you know the way we are in this country, because I remember some some years back there was a similar incident that happened, and even for the fact that I was a media person and a pressman, that guy could have died. So a guy was shot, apparently caught splash in my estate where I used to stay sometimes back. So this guy was at the verge of losing his life. I took him on bike with another guy. He got to the hospital. The hospital were not going to accept him because the injury was crazy. Like when I say crazy, crazy, it was crazy. So the hospital were not going to even give him any medical attention. I need to bring out my ID card. And I told him the consequence of what was going to happen is that guy should die along the process. So they were forced to now give him medical attention. So I feel like um, our, our medical departments are actually the one, um, they are the ones making situations like this more worse. And the government seriously needs to scrutinize them regarding situation whereby someone was brought in dead or someone was brought in. So you dead. can tell now that those are the kind of things that you need justice for. Those are part of the things that justice needs to be, you know, because if it happened, you know, if that happened to Mubad because of that reason, it will be happening to other people too because of that reason too. You understand? Those are, those are the things we need to channel all these things towards so that we can have a better Nigeria for our own children too. Lord Ash, Lord Ash, justice can actually be um, directed to 
that kind of situation. The only thing I feel is it can only be scrutinized. That 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 sector of or I would like to put it that circumstances can only be put in check. Um, you know, at the end of the day, person, are you a Yoruba yes, person? I, Alhamdulillah, I am. Uh, I would advise you to speak Yoruba because the English you're speaking doesn't really work out with me. Scrutinize. Why would you use the word scrutinize? Why would they scrutinize them? Scrutinize them to do what? You understand? What, you understand what I'm trying to say? You see, sometimes you see, let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me, let me, let me, I'm not trying to insult you, my brother. Wait, my brother. Wait, my brother. Wait, my brother. Wait, wait. Oh no, wait. Please, please. Uh huh. You see, I live in England. Okay. This is where English originated from. You see, when you're speaking English with me, be careful. I'm just telling you personally, because we speak English here. The word you just use, scrutinize, has nothing to do with what you're saying. You see, why would we want to scrutinize our medical practitioners? We don't want to scrutinize them. We want to hold them accountable. Lord, can I just chip in? Sometimes, bro, bro, sorry, 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 speak. No, let me speak. Just one minute. I've not, I've not spoken since. I've been quiet and I've allowed people to speak. So please allow me. Now, um, I personally would find your statement a bit insulting, even though you apologized prior that you you weren't trying to. But I would find it a bit not insulting, but disrespectful. Let me just correct myself. A bit disrespectful. And however, um, sometimes our choice of words are obviously uh, important when we speak. But oftentimes there, there are some words that you might have a meaning for. The fact that we live in England, we understand the actual use of those words may not necessarily mean that the way Nigerians, let me just put it that way, use the, the exact same word as we will obviously know the actual understanding might not be the same way the same word will be thrown around in nigeria let's just have that one says, listen that's how we mislead ourselves correct ourselves in the way um I Kodibaje, please can i i, I really appreciate me interrupted please all right all right I'm not thank you it. now um it, it's not about misleading or anything i want you to have that understanding then we can move forward and so, just so that nobody will feel disrespected because if i am going to correct somebody okay your choice of word is wrong this is what you should say in place of what you have said and that way we move past that it won't be a situation where i sort of like say something that will be a bit disrespectful to the other person does that make sense thank you let's go yeah, um, 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 you have one minute about one minute to clarify yeah, yeah, I, have, yeah, I don't yeah, think claude yeah, ash yeah. means to be um disrespectful or condescending i, I just feel like he was just trying to correct the use of word but the reality about it is, I didn't feel, I didn't feel disrespected. I, I didn't see it personal because the reality about it is this: I don't think he's in any position to think he's got the right to correct me when I use the word scrutinization because that simply means konikpa ne de yoruba. So for someone that thinks because he stays in United Kingdom and whatsoever, so we have better understanding of use of English than me then um sometimes but some people can be probably um deluded no, 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 no. No, 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 can we drop this please can we drop this please it's too early can we drop this please you can see that he's not here to have a banter with anybody he's just here to have a conversation and when what he said didn't sit well with him with me i um i spoke up so i mean we're all adults you don't have to start using uh, uh, uh f word and things like that come on we're all matured 
I'm sorry. Usha, Usha, I befe everybody. I'm, I'm really very sorry. I didn't mean to have I a go at you. I understand. I, 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 and that's I, why I was just correct I did not you. mean to because. Don't be offended. What he, what, what, the, 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 the sentence he made, the way I understood it, wasn't the way he was saying it. Yeah, so I, it was, I totally uh, understand. That's what I was trying to. And even the way you came up with it, I understood the way you came up with it as well. Yeah. I'm really very sorry. I'm going to have to leave now. I don't want to offend anybody. No, no, I didn't no. Mean no. To. If you if you leave, let me just let me just uh, correct something. If you leave, please don't leave uh, because of what has just happened, but because we're all um, clamoring for justice, we all want to get to the bottom of everything because this is quite tiring. I'm a blogger i've been on this whole issue for several months since it happened and i believe that a whole lot of us have been on it and um i could barely do anything else so as much as every other person wants to get to the bottom of it we all want to the justice we clamor for and at the end of the day we cannot be having misunderstanding we cannot be having arguments unnecessarily fighting each other because of um the whole justice for mubad if the end only justifies the means so what we want well if, if you come in as a new person coming to get to the bottom of it it will be appreciated it would only take one person or a multitude of people to find a solution to a problem based on their research so by all means please feel free to come anytime if you want to ask us questions we'll be more than available to answer questions based on what we have knowledge of based on what is being circulated based on the information that we get from either the court or the police we can discuss that please 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 don't nobody is here to roast anybody nobody is here to fight anybody we correct each other in love and if it doesn't sit well we approach it the best way we can so please i'd really appreciate it not because uh, don't leave because oh um a little friction just happened but because you really need to leave we can continue a conversation we're all adults and we handle it maturely please thank you very much yeah, thank you, Usha. Um, because I see some people. One day, I never said seven months. I said several months. Please don't misquote me. Do not say what I haven't said. I said several months. Several. Could you leave that? Leave that one. Leave the comment section. Lord Ash, go ahead, please. Yes. So, was, so far, please what, talk uh, about looking at the comment section. Yes, uh, Dawa class. Um, so far, what I have gathered is this. Um, Mobad had um had an infection or something, which I don't know because if a nurse was called, definitely something was not right with the court that you know he had a court through a glass. Is that not what you've told me in summary? Um I I am not a nurse or a medical doctor. No, 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 no. You but said he had a, a swollen no, hand. A, a swollen cut. hand after a cut means an infection. No, 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 no. What I first said, I said he had a cut from the glass from that car. From yes, the, yes. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, so from that cut, that was where you know everything manifested. And I'm always became. very careful with my words because an autopsy would detect if there was an infection. So I'm always very, very careful. Yes. yes. So and, um, that we can have. He, he had a cut in his hand that led to the hand being swollen. However, we cannot confirm that the hand was infected because the nurse didn't say that and the police didn't say that okay so but um if she was um if she was administering um anti-tetanus means there was an uh there was a tetanus infection then no so according to our own tetanus according infection to our is own. administered when you have an open court in nigeria we know that they give tetanus injection to prevent oh, as a preventive you, method even when it's uh, when you already have it it's going to prevent pardon okay. So I mean, it was administered to prevent it, not yes, like it was... an infection. I'd say, yep. Because I was, yeah, yeah okay, 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 yeah. okay. So because you know, all these things could just be, you know, 
could be something we could actually just pick out from a dumpster like in two seconds and we just solve it and we've all been running around for months and one little thing can just prove it to us and we'll all be all right so you know and like i always say the best way to remember yesterday is to think backwards so that's why we're thinking backwards now do you agree with me yes please uh-huh so well like i said i would still like to leave soon like not even soon like now and i really appreciate you guys having me again here today i've learned so many again tonight i'm going to still spend my time again before i actually go to bed to go to other platforms as well and um i would want to beg uh me me meaning see personality because i don't even know him his name is not even kunibaje anyway he's an alias so it's not like we actually know ourselves ourselves like that so it's always our our aliases that we're always fighting at and you know doing all those things that can shake people are really more because all that be means in moment shall video me talk on your malobu military comment section me and all those things cooking we could move me one bit three because they don't really know me in person and besides when they do all those things at me when i check my account balance one era okay dimbe so i don't know why we always take things to you know sometimes cool really and we shouldn't let this thing divide us like i always say let's try and be one voice for more bad and it's not just for more bad it will be a point you see that word scrutinize why i said scrutinize is because scrutinize means you're still going to start asking and you know finding something no 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 these people are fucked up already let them be accountable why would there be a dead body in the hospital and you let them leave without you even calling the police that oh some people brought dead body well, can't you suspect them shouldn't there be like a suspicion or something like why would they have dead body and things like that because yeah uh why would you have a dead body in your possession those are the things we need to fight for because we want nigeria to be better so tabati be sin ni gbogbo run nkan me pe pe awon eyan ti mo pe yes pe itun nkan me ba se pe awon ma go they will never do it again you now see that all those kind loopholes will go close them so taka okay we can't do justice for mobad for no reason we can't get the justice for mobad since no change for nigeria to what so what will come be our effort then what will come be our effort none so i'm sorry about the word scrutinize when i you know i'm i didn't mean it could imagine me mean pay move that i said me mean pay move that i said anybody i just want us to all just have one voice